So let's take a look. The final patch in Brood War. Valkyrie, damage increased. Acceleration velocity increased slightly. Build time decreased. Science facility, build time decreased. Radiate cost increased. Yamato cannon decreased in cost. Missile turret from 175 minerals. Uh, the Goliath range upgrade got cheaper. Increased speed on dropship. Increased ground attack range. This was funny. Goliath's like had terrible range before. Uh, build time decrease on battle cruiser. That thing still takes forever, man. Damn. And six down to six supply, like I mentioned. We have Dragoon build time increased. Look at this. Scout was decreased in cost. I I didn't I don't remember that. Uh still that is too much. Everyone in the whole world agrees that this is why we never see scouts used. That's too much money. I'm not sure what you have to bring it down to to get it used, but that's this is too much for how strong it is. Carrier supply decreased. Size storm damage reduced. Can you imagine? <laughs> Uh, disruption web spell duration decreased. Wow. Wow, I wonder if we put that back, if we'd see it more. Uh, Zealot shields. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it used to be 80-80, if I remember correctly. 80 shields and 80 health. And they changed it to 60-100. I'm almost 100% sure that's what it was before. All right. Uh, Queens became cheaper. Ultralist supply down. Spawn broodling cost decreased. Lurker uh, increased. Hydralisk speed upgrade increased. Wow, imagine if they hadn't done that. It would be even harder to stop 3 edge Hydra. <laughs> Spawning pool up to 200 from 150. That was really important. Four pools were insane, man. You'd lose all your SCVs every time. It was such a strong build. Uh, and you couldn't even micro back then. No one could. Oof. Uh, building armor increased on the sunken. And hit points decreased. Oh, that's interesting. I don't recall it having more uh, hit points. Yeah, there you go. That was the last patch in Brood War. Can you imagine if any of these weren't done? Some of them wouldn't really change it, but I see all sorts of shit that would be broken. It was 400, yeah. That makes sense because that's what a creep is, right? That was a banger patch. The game probably wouldn't still be played if it wasn't for this patch. Because this is the last... This is it. That was it. People talk about, let's have a balance patch. Dude, 1.08. What was this? Year 2000, I believe. Oh, 2001. May 2001. Crazy, huh? Okay. Okay. Sorry about the, the slowness of that. Okay. Iconic games and moments. All right. There's some, there's some that stick out in my mind, personally. Uh, like, very important moments. Uh, one would be uh, when I Love Oove beat Boxer Finish. in the finals of OSL. That was the last time Boxer made an OSL finals, and I Love Oove was kind of his student. And then I, I think that that was a super iconic moment. That was, that was, in my opinion, the best OSL there ever was. Uh, it was like the last big stand of Boxer and Reach, it felt like. Okay, another iconic moment that comes to mind is um, I Love Oove. He lost to July Zerg when he had a huge win rate, and July Zerg was like the most aggressive Zerg ever at that point. Yeah. 
자기 거로 만들어 버리네요. 자, 밤에 났어. 밤에 났어. 밤에 양쪽으로 두드리게. 아로비 안돼도 아, 선전을 보다 봤다. 보다 보다 정원이게요. 정원이게요. 그럼 정원이 끝낼 수 있어. 정원이 끝낼 수. 정원이 끝내야 돼요. 최연성이 기회를 주면 합니다. 박성준. 최연성이 기회를 주면 합니다. 박성준. 기회는 찬스다. 제대로 잡았어. 네, 정원이 더 와요. 뒤에서 오는 정원이가 함께. 샌드위치, 샌드위치. 사이에 맨날 샌드위치 할 생각이죠. 아, 엑스 GP 가 벌써 왔습니다. 자, 최연성 이제 매딩만 나오면 막을 수 있긴 한데 그 전에. 자, 밤에 죽는데 밤에 죽기 때문에 매딩을 찍을 수가 없어요. 또 잡았고요. 이제는 못 막아요. 이제는 못 막습니다. 엔트리 거의 엔트 본질 엔트리. 아, 최연성. 최연성. 이쪽 개방됐어요. 이쪽 개방됐어요. 어찌할 수가 없습니다. 어찌할 아, 수가. 없 이거 막, 막는다고 해봤자 저그는 저그는 뛰는 이후에 본질을 내어 나가볼 거 없는데. 진짜. 진짜. Really, really important m o m e Uh, lost to Bisu in the finals. That was maybe the single most important match uh, because Bisu showed Protoss how to actually win in that matchup. There he is dancing his Hydralisks in defeat before throwing out the GG in the last game of the finals. And Savior has been defeated. Savior has been dethroned. The multiple MSL champion has won. I mean, has lost this one, and Bisu has won his first title, ladies and gentlemen. Abs real competition. So this is, this is, um, this is the last Star League that Savior places in, and Bisu has shut him down and ends his his career essentially. Yeah, like I was saying before, all the all the all the big victories, like three OSLs or three MSLs, you get Golden Badge or Golden Mouse. Uh, so those were all kind of big ones. Um, a lot of pro league finals had like unbelievable hype, more hype than one versus one. I think of one versus one stuff a lot, just being a, an American one versus one player. We have kind of a different culture than over there, but the team ones were actually technically more hype. Um, so any of those big team finals, like KT, SKT, it had one of the best games I think ever played, Bisu versus Flash. Unbelievable, it, it, unbelievable. If you go back and watch that whole series and see how it ends, amazing. Yeah, an absolutely nuts game. Unreal. Uh, all the ones that were at Bu in Busan at the beach were super hype. Uh, all of those were really, really exciting. Yeah, of course, I remember Gur, Boxer, everybody. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you have more questions, you can ask, and I'll try to get more specific and stuff. But, like, those are, those are moments that pop out in my head immediately.